this summer as my summer of estate sales. I've been on a bit of an estate sale kick this summer. In case you missed it, I've had a few videos going through some local estate sales and I've just really been having fun going to them so I keep going back. I've mostly been going to them with my friends and sometimes my mom because she also loves estate sales. But my husband has been traveling a lot for work this year and so he's just been missing a lot of them. And so for a while now I've been really wanting to find a good one for us to go together when he's at home. And last week one came up and we were finally able to make it work and it was so much fun to do it together. And honestly at first when we went to this house I was thinking oh yeah there's some cute stuff but like nothing major but you gotta wait until the basement. It was one of those basements that was just packed full. We got time on our side We're in a state of home I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive It had one of those basements that was just packed full of stuff. Like you could not see everything. There was just piles and everything was full and you would open drawers and there was like more stuff and just there was stuff everywhere. But we had such a good time. Thankfully, we drove separately because we had different places to go afterwards, but it worked out really well because we ended up getting some big stuff and we ended up needing both of our cars in order to fit everything. So worked out well. And my mom actually even met up with me there after Frank had left. And so we went back through it and I only got one little thing when I went back through with her, but it was still good to like see a little bit more of it because it really was one of those houses where you could easily miss some good stuff. So of course it is time for a haul. Now all of the little stuff besides one thing that I got on my second time through I got as a bundle, so it was all bundled price, but each thing ended up being around $5. It was $25 for the bundle and there were five things. So it basically comes out to about $5 each. But I will start with the first thing that I found, which is this cake stand, Lazy Susan. It spins, which is really nice. I actually don't have any sort of spinning Lazy Susan thing. And so 
Not that I do a ton of cake decorating, but the few times that I have, I've always been a little bit frustrated not having one because it just makes life so much easier to be able to like put a cake on here and spin it as you decorate it. it makes it way easier. Plus this is so lovely. It's just like nice and simple. So I've also been using it as decor. I've been keeping it out either on the countertops or on our tabletop to sort of do a little bit of a decor moment on it. And it's just sweet and usable, which is always great to have both. So excited about that. And just look how big it is. It's crazy. Anyway. If you've followed me for a while, you might possibly remember that I collect vintage cookbooks. I love them. I just can't say no to a cute vintage cookbook. And this one was certainly no different. It is super cute. Look at the print. It's fully printed. It's like a wraparound printing, which I have quite a few vintage cookbooks and I've never seen one with this type of print. So I was so excited. It's just so cute. And I could not pass it up for that reason alone. But there was another reason that I absolutely could not pass that up. And that is because it is a Margaret Brunkin Pepperidge Farm cookbook. And you might be like, well, what the heck? Why does that matter? But I actually already have a copy of the Margaret Rudkin Pepperidge Farm cookbook. And the thing is, I got this at either a thrift store or, in a, or a different estate sale. I can't quite remember at this point. But I originally put it up in my kitchen as just like sort of a decor moment because it's like a nice pretty one. However, I have found that I have gone back to this book time and time again to make recipes. There have been quite a few great recipes I've found in here. It's one that's packed full of nice, simple recipes that are simple to make. And usually the ingredients are all really easy to get and directions are pretty easy to follow so it also has some really sweet illustrations through it which are really cute but anyway I have found that I've used this one so much that when I saw a copy of it with this really sweet print I just couldn't say no and so now they live together on my shelf in my kitchen and I just love them so much so Okay, so one of the amazing things in this house was the closets. There wasn't a crazy amount of clothing. However, the clothing that was there was so lovely. This person collected some of the prettiest vintage clothes I've seen in a while and definitely kept them in good condition, which is so great to find. The first piece of clothing that I got from there is something that I actually plan on wearing. Sometimes with vintage clothes, I just can't say no, but I know that I won't wear it that much, but this, I'm definitely gonna be wearing this come fall. Just a really sweet, really lovely plaid skirt. And I just love the colors too, those like greens and blacks. And I just think it's so perfect for fall and winter. I really can't wait to wear this one. I think it'll be so fun to style come fall. And this was just too special to pass up. A vintage apron. And it's got this lovely embroidery on it and it's just it's so sweet it's got the big ruffles on it definitely not something I'm going to be like everyday wearing but it was just too pretty to pass up and it was in such good condition so I had to bring it home right so I did want to be really careful with cleaning it so I used Dr. Bronner's Castile not sure if I'm saying that right, Castillo soap. And I sort of just filled up the sink with just barely warm water, not, not hot water, but just barely warm water and some of the soap. And I let it soak for a good long while. And I agitated it in the sink just a little bit. And after that, I made a makeshift laundry line. Unfortunately, we don't have a laundry line at our house. I would love one, but we just don't have one. So I kind of made a makeshift one in our backyard and I let it dry out in the sun and it came out so lovely. It had had a few little stains on it and just drying out in the sun really took all of those out and it really looks so good now. So I'm so happy with that. I think it's so lovely. I, I definitely am excited to maybe make some videos of me cooking in it or just take some photos and just wear it while I do some cooking. I just feel like it will be just so special. And the last thing I got as part of that $25 bundle I just got it dry clean, so that's why it's crinkly, is this lovely wool blanket. It is huge. I definitely can't open it up all the way in camera because it is, I think it's almost a king size, which is kind of crazy. 
because you don't see that a lot with old textiles, but it is massive. It's got really cute fringe and it actually says made in England. It doesn't have an actual brand, but it says made in England. So, and it's just really lovely. I really adore the colors on it. It's got such good, once again, fall winter vibes. And I cannot wait to put this on our bed. I'm kind of thinking it'd be a really good like bed blanket at the end of the bed to add some color and texture to our room for like the fall and winter. I think that would be really, really lovely. So I'm really excited to do that. The last few things that I got are too big to fit on camera for sure. I got some furniture that I'm really excited about. So first off is this amazing park bench. I probably would have totally missed it, but since my husband was with me, he noticed it and he was like, this is way cool. We definitely need this. So it is huge. It's gotta be at least six foot long. The feet on it are a little bit beat up, so I definitely need to give them a little bit of love. I think I'm just going to try to stain everything so that it matches and it looks good, and then I'm going to seal it really well. Generally, I don't like to sit any sort of wood items outside, just because obviously they will degrade over time. It's just hard to keep them up. However, this is a park bench, and we just had dreams when we saw it of sitting it out on our patio and it looking so cute out there. There's a specific spot that's kind of been hard to find anything Thing that would look right and I think it'll fit just perfectly there so I'm gonna try to seal it really really well and then just upkeep it really well so that it stays in good condition but we think it'll be perfect out there and we ended up getting it for only $15 which is like the steal of the century so I definitely don't mind putting a little bit of work into it and definitely upkeeping it and the next thing we sort of got on a whim as I was like asking for prices on some other things, I saw this and I thought, wow, that actually might be really, really useful. It is a little metal cabinet. It sort of looks like a mini locker. It's just really simple and they were already using it for like paint supplies in their basement. And that just sort of like light bulb moment for me. And I realized we desperately needed something to put like all of our paint supplies in our basement in. Cause right now they're just sort of thrown together and it's such a headache to try to find anything in there. And for people that are renovating and constantly needing to like touch up and paint and all of this stuff, it's been a total headache. So we grabbed that because we thought it would just be perfect to do in our basement. So it's moving from their basement to our basement. I did take it out to our shed and I scrubbed it down really well and some of the paint started to peel off just as I was scrubbing it down. So I sort of like wire brushed it and scraped it a little bit to get any loose paint off. And since it was starting to scrape like that, I went ahead and gave it a few coats of paint. Now it could definitely still use a couple more coats of paint to be honest with you, but I probably already put six or seven coats on it. I know it doesn't look like it, but I did. And I kind of got to the point where I was like, well, I'm gonna have to buy a lot more paint to like finish this fully and make it look perfect but it's a paint cabinet for our basement. Do we really need to do that? So I decided to call it a day and moved it into our basement so we could start using it. So that also ended up being $15, which is a good price and we definitely needed it. So happy with that one. And last, but of course not least, is my favorite piece. I almost missed it, but then I noticed this uh, adorable dresser that was hiding in the basement. When I took a closer look, I realized that it was actually a secretary dresser. So what looks like the top two drawers are actually one piece that folds down and inside is a little secretary desk. It is so dang cute. I just was obsessed with it. They once again only wanted 15 bucks for it. So I just couldn't say no, it was so cute. And it does have drawers at the bottom as well. So I will tell you, I am debating what to do with it. It looks pretty good as is. And honestly, I'm considering just living with it as is for a while and seeing how I feel after a while. I kind of feel like I take on way too many projects and I end up redoing everything that I touch and sometimes it just doesn't need it. Like, yes, this is a bit scuffed up, but I don't need it to be perfect. And I think it has charm being a little bit beat up. And sometimes it's just nice to live with something and not feel like you have to redo every single piece of furniture. But it does have a little bit more of an orange tone than I like. And right after I brought it home, 
film. I actually saw on Instagram somebody doing a reel using the oven cleaner hack on a piece of furniture, which if you don't know, it's just using oven cleaner to kind of strip the piece of furniture and it definitely tends to tone down orange tones, which is nice. So I have been kind of flirting with the idea of trying that out on this piece and hopefully sort of just doing that. So I'm thinking about it. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I mean, of course I'm also tempted to completely strip it down and restain it or completely strip it down and just let it be a lighter color wood which I think would be really lovely but I honestly have so many projects that I should be working on right now that I feel like I shouldn't I definitely am starting to get that guilt of like I can't bring home any new projects like no more new projects but then I'm always bringing home another project so definitely let me know your thoughts and what I should do with that dresser but that's it. I had so much fun at this estate sale. I have really been enjoying going to them. Hopefully it's been just as fun to watch, but I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time.